Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we've got a graph and it's modeling the price of a postage stamp um, in years since the end of World War I. They want to know what is the equation that best models it, right? So we have these four choices. And the first thing we should recognize is that no one expects you to enter these points into a calculator and do any kind of regression. But, just in case, let's remind ourselves how that works. If you have a bunch of points, let's say you define out what each of these points are, you can press stat, go to edit, and in these lists right here, you can enter all the points you have, and then press stat, and go to calc, and do some type of regression. If you thought it was a line, you can do linear regression. If you thought it was a parabola, you can do quadratic, and so on and so forth. But that's not what we're doing here. What we should first do is see if we can eliminate any choices. And I think you might recognize that some of the things we can definitely eliminate are choices one and four. One can go because there's no way that this is a linear trend, right? If you try to draw a line for this, just look at how uh, maybe ridiculous it would look. In this case, the y-intercept is about negative 14. It's like down here. Okay. So here, I mean, let's say maybe like that. You might say, okay, Sean, it's pretty close to a lot of these points here, but it really, I mean, the you have these two outliers right here. A little bit ridiculous, right? And it just misses those entirely. And the point of any kind of regression is to minimize your outliers. So that's clearly not going to work, especially when there's some type of, let's say, exponential curve that would work nicely here. Right? Kind of go along and then curve it up. It's got to be some type of exponential fit, which is why we can also cross out choice four. It's a sine wave. Remember the sine waves and cosine waves, sinusoidal waves or patterns like this. That's not at all what we have here. Maybe, maybe eventually, I don't know, in the future, like postage stamps will have this kind of cycle. That's not what we're dealing with right here. So then the question is, which of these two equations models this data? You don't have to guess. That's what I'll say first of all. Instead, what you can do really quickly on a calculator is to plug them in. How? Well, press Y equals, clear up any old equations. I'm going to plug this one in first. 1.04. Now, it starts at $1.04, that's what it's saying. Oh, sorry, no. It starts at 1.04 cents. This is a price in cents. That could be a reasonable number right there. The other one is 1.43. Too close to see if, it, if which one's a better fit right away. And even if you could see exactly what's happening here, you wouldn't be able to tell which is the better fit. You have to plug it in. So you do 1.43 and then raise it to the x power. And then I'm going to go to my table. Now, what, do I look, what am I looking for in the table? I'm looking to see if maybe one of these is really unreasonable. So I notice at 40, 40 years since World War I, I'm at about, let me see what that is. Use my calculator as a ruler here at 40, um, maybe about 5 cents, right? It's about halfway between 0 and 10. So if I go to a second window, I could start at any point on my table. I'm going to go to 40. I'm going to see, do I get 5 cents? And then I'm going to go back to my table. And it says 1.7 times 10 to the 6th. Okay, e, E6. This model predicts that at 40, y equals one time, 7 times 10 to the 6th, I believe that said. Right, 7 million pennies. Let me see if I got that right. Oh, no, one, not even close. 1 1.7 times 10 to the 6th. Let me fix that. So that's a million 700,000 pennies. That's not at all close, right? What would that be in dollars divided by 100? You get 1700. Zero zero, it'd be $17,000 for a stamp. Does that seem reasonable? No, and that's not, um, doesn't fit the model at well, as all. It doesn't fit the model at all here, the graph. You could plug in 60 or 80, you would see even more dramatic differences. I wouldn't plug in one of the first two points because the model might work early on, it's exponential, so it, it might flatten, be a flat curve in the beginning and might not show that it's off. So that can't be the answer, it's gotta be choice three. And pick inputs that are further in. So um, further in the trend, not just one of the first ones. Let's just see, though, that it does work. 
it's going to be 1.43 times 1.04 to the power of x. We go to our table. If you see about 5 cents, okay, 6.8 cents here. That's much more reasonable. You tell this 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 model, uh, this equation uh, models the data much better. Thank you.